Another important day in U.S. history was June 6, 1944, D-Day. So much was at stake, and the mobilization was unparalleled. Part of that effort went to a very elite group of people, the U.S. Rangers. Tom Ruggiero of Plymouth was one of those Rangers. They were given the task of climbing the rock cliffs to try and knock out the enemy guns. Of the 10 million people uh, that served in World War II, only 3,000 of them were U.S. Rangers. Uh, Tom's story uh, is a riveting story uh, of one of the greatest battles in our United States history. Yeah, the way we got picked was uh, there was a couple, three, three or four guys from the 1st Ranger Battalion asking the guys questions. He says, uh, gee, he says, you're not very big, are you? I said, how, how big do you have to be to squeeze a trigger on a rifle? The night before D-Day, this uh, executive officer that we had was drinking. He was demoralizing the guys. He said, this is stupid. We're all going to get killed trying to get up those cliffs. Word got to Rudder. Rudder said, you are in show business. Get your cronies to get these guys laughing again. And we got the guys all laughing. This was the night before. And that, that brought them back. I'll never forget the officer on the mothership made a speech to us. You're on one of the best landing crafts there is. If your boat gets hit or flips over or whatever, don't leave the boat. It won't sink. Mm -hmm. When I come down that rope ladder to get in the boat, I said, dear Lord, don't let me drown. I want to get in there and do what I'm supposed to do. He didn't let me drown. We got within, uh, I'd say, 600, 700 yards. A lot of duel started with one of the destroyer and the German guns, and the stuff was coming in on us. Uh, I saw one guy, the concussion killed him. We got within 400 yards of it. Uh, one round hit the front, didn't hit the boat. It just bow went up, and when the bow went over, emptied us all in the water. We were in the water for two and a half hours, 42 degrees. The first thing I thought of was keep those legs going. One guy that was fairly close to me says, you can't, I can't keep my legs going. Keep them going because if you don't, you're not gonna last. Pretty soon a duel starts with a destroyer and Germans firing. There were short rounds coming in right amongst us in the water and then, they could see us from the destroyer, but they couldn't do a damn thing for us. What happened was this small Navy gunboat went to Utah Beach, and they told, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be over Omaha Beach. Thank God for that, because he had to come by us. We saw the gunboat coming towards us. All right, keep it going, keep those legs going, they'll pick us up. They threw him a life belt. He got his arm in it. They got him up on deck, he's dead. They threw a monkey fist at me, and I grabbed it. The minute the air hit me, down I went, you know? But they, that, they finally got me with a pike pole. Then they put us on the battleship Texas. The doctor looked every one of them. He says, you're not sending these guys back in. We wanted to go. 